Welcome back to Tulander Engineering. Today we're diving into the world of die making as we explore the evolution from old style dies to their modern counterparts. Join us as we uncover the key differences, advancements, and the impact they've had on the manufacturing processes. Let's get right into it. In the world of die making, precision is paramount. But there was a time when achieving this level of precision was a painstaking process. This was one of the first stamping dies that my grandfather built when he started this company in the 1970s. This is a progressive die, which means it has multiple stations that each perform a unique operation to produce a finished part. This is the finished part that this die produces. This die looks far different from the dies we built today. The frame of the die is made into many pieces that fit together like a puzzle. The individual die sections also had to be made in several pieces, but at this point in time, it would be impossible to produce complex shapes in one piece. Precision holes were finished ground with a jig grinder, which attaches to a milling machine. This machine is now an old relic that just collects dust. Punches were all finished ground with a manual surface grinder. Every angle, radius, and cut was meticulously ground without the help of any type of CNC machine. Here is one such punch that was made on a manual surface grinder for this die. Back in the day to produce a punch like this would take at least a day or two from a highly skilled craftsman, only if he was perfect and didn't make a mistake. I will let you view the punch on an optical comparator so you can see the details of it. The clearance between the dissection and the punch to optimize cutting was very small, so the punch had to be very precise. Now in this day and age, a punch like that would only take an hour to produce. That was all made possible by the invention of the wire EDM machine. This machine changed everything for a tool and die maker. It sends a charge of electricity through a continuous spool of wire that allows a tool and die maker to cut shapes that he could have never dreamt of making before at a fraction of the time, cost, and material being used. Now here is a modern die that was created with the wire EDM machine. Notice how the frame is not made into pieces like the old style die. It is all made from one piece with individual cavities cut for each station of the die. I removed one station so you could see what the cavities looked like empty. These style cavities allow for greater flexibility and easier adjustment of components. Most punches, dies, and forms are made with the wire EDM machine. We can now build, maintain, and replace components much more rapidly in comparison. Stamp parts can be manufactured at a lower price, which is then passed on to the consumer. Now, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If any of you have any questions, please post them down below. I will answer every single one of your questions. I love hearing from all of you. If anyone has any stamping needs, please contact us. We would love to talk with you, answer any questions, and meet all of your needs. See you in the next video.